DJ Sipe and Lavish are joining me in studio. Now, these two DJs are from Langa and Guguletu, and they've just come back from playing the Belgian Music Festival Tomorrowland. Hello, guys. Hi. Well, that's very exciting. You were in Belgium. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, you went as a part of a program called Bridges, Bridges, Bridges for, for Music. music yeah. Now, why don't you tell me, maybe we'll start off with you, Sipe, what exactly Bridges for Music is? Uh, Bridges for me is 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 a it's more like an I can't say an organization, but it's more like, like something that and I can say NGO. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah, but it, uh, it it gives opportunities opportunities to people like uh, like producers, DJ from mm-hmm. townships, like uh, to giving them opportunity to play out of outside South Africa, like uh, yeah. all over the world. Mm. That's mm-hmm. awesome. So you guys just went to Belgium. Mm-hmm. Lavish, had you been outside of South Africa before? No. Prior to okay. this visit, no. Never. Never been outside the country before, so it was quite an On experience. On my side, first time also. Same. <laughs> okay, now, then tell me about this epic journey. So you get chosen to go to Belgium. What's, what's the first thought that goes through your head? This is not real. This is yeah. definitely just some kind of joke. Someone's yeah. going to wake me up soon and say, no, nah, this is not joke. real. Um, the time that I really noticed that it was real was when I was at the airport and then that was like, mm. okay, this is really this happening, is real. okay. Mm. Um, and it's a great honor, right? Um, prior to even being told about me going on this trip, I didn't know about Tomorrowland that much, mm. right? I've heard there and there about it, but I never really checked it out online. So when I saw how big the event was, it was just overwhelming to know that I'd be going to a place like this. So it was yeah, quite, quite exciting. How big was it? Too big. <laughs> too big. Like, um, too big. Like, uh, I, I couldn't even do the main stage. Like being mm. so hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people, it's mm. just too overwhelming, actually. Um, wow. Wow. Like that, the, the place itself, it's bigger than my township. Right, so it takes like three hours to walk around the place and you're still in this one huge mm. party. There yeah. are about 15 stages, different yeah. stages. Mm-hmm. Different so genres. You get like electro, electro, trance, EDM, yeah. and but deep house. Same thing. It's, it's too big. It's big. It's, gee, it sounds too big. Yeah. It's, too big. No. it's like Disneyland for party animals. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sure all the party animals watching this. Like, how do yeah. I get there next year? <laughs> what was it like playing to a crowd that big? <laughs> oh, I was uh, kind of nervous because mm. I never played for like so many people. Cause I can imagine. I, I, can, I used to play for maybe a thousand and then when I get there, there was plenty of people. <laughs> plenty of people. And the funniest thing is uh, they're all white. There's no one <laughs> playing. Oh, shit. Uh, and I was wondering, do I play like South African house and mm. then I represent or do I play something which is irrelevant? Or, But I played something like uh, South African house and mixed with the electro, but they enjoyed it. Good. Mm-hmm. What was your experience like? Um, yes, it is quite nerve wracking. It is quite intense being in front of so many people. You, like you find it hard to even look at the people. You just rather look at the decks. Decks, and yeah. The buttons. yeah. <laughs> Same. You'd rather just focus on the buttons. Uh, but um, after a while, once they start getting into what you're presenting to mm-hmm. them, then it gets quite exciting. Mm-hmm. Like to have all those people. It's like you're some high priest, and these people are your followers. And, it's mad. <laughs> what does it feel like it's to mad. be up there, have all of these people in a country that you've never been to before, a festival that you said you didn't even really know about it until mm-hmm. Bridges for Music. What does it feel like to be in front of those people and have them dancing along to your music? I don't think there's, mm-hmm. there's any feeling more glorifying or mm-hmm. more like mm-hmm. satisfying than to be able to play in front of a crowd like that. It's like... Like, I, I feel like if anybody has more of an influence on, mm-hmm. on even just politics, it would be DJs more than politicians yeah. because of the way they can get the crowd to interact with them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm just saying um, it's quite intense to be in front of so many people, especially when you've never been in front of them before. But it's also very, very satisfying to know that you can deliver your music to such a broad, yeah. Yeah, such a big crowd. Yeah. 